Hey guys, what I have here is a video request. Well, somebody asked me to do a video on how to proper how to install and properly configure MSI 6.22 and Windows Four Workgroup 3.11 and VMware. Since they seen my tutorial on how to do how to install and properly configure Windows 95 and VMware. So if you're a beginner, what you want to do is we're going to create a new virtual machine, of course. We're going to select custom virtual machine, select Microsoft Windows, go down the list, select Windows 3.1, whether you're doing Windows 3.1 or Windows for Word Group 3.11. Then you want to go to, before you click continue, make sure we select new, create a new virtual hard disk. Then you want to give the virtual machine a name. I already got my virtual machine already set up so so before we get started we're going to go ahead and change a few settings once we create the virtual let me drag this window over here be sure to add a floppy drive while you're at it whether you're installing windows for word group 3.11 or windows 3.1 on from a floppy disk as well as your ms dos i highly recommend making your you you making a disk image of your physical media if you're using physical media with a USB drive. So don't add any USB controllers. So we don't want the virtual machine to upgrade the virtual hardware. And for hard disk I use about one gigabyte and I set the uh, memory to 16 gigabyte, 16 megabytes. And before we do any other changes, we want to check our VMX for to change a few little things around. So what we're going to do is open up the virtual machine folder in our Finder. Since I'm using a Mac, if you're using Windows, you can look, open up the virtual machines folder in Windows Explorer. So we're going to show package contents. We're going to use our text, a text editor to modify the VMX file. If you're using this in Windows, you can use Notepad. I changed the PCI bridge strings that said true to false. And you want to change your virtual hardware version to version 4 for better compatibility. So this, these two strings, I also changed these to false. And make sure you have virtual dot sound virtual dev equals SB16 so we can be able to use the Sound Blaster 16 drivers. You can even copy and paste this string if you're gonna install do a Windows 95 virtual machine or a Windows 98 first edition virtual machine. So let's go ahead and power on the virtual machine. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click continue. We're going to continue set up and replace. Even though this is a, a reinstall. If you're outside the US, you can change your country and keyboard layout if you like. Go ahead and press enter. So let me insert my DOS, my disk image in. Uh, disk image and I'll be right back. Since we got all our um, MS DOS successfully installed, we're going to go ahead and press enter. Press enter again to restart. And we're not done just yet. We're going to go ahead before we install our Windows. We're going to install our OC ROM driver. We'll change over to the A drive. We're going to do install.exe. Press enter. And it's going to copy all the files over to the hard drive. Please excuse me, I was drinking some water. So we'll go ahead and press enter to hit OK. And let's reboot the virtual machine.
We're going to change over to the D drive. We're going to do CD disk one. And we're going to run setup.exe. We're going to press enter. Since we're using a CD version of Windows for Groups 3.11, we're going to do the custom setup. Press enter. Go ahead, press enter. If you're outside of the US, you can change your language and keyboard layout. If everything's all correct as is, go ahead, press enter. Then we're going to just point to the installation files that's on the disk. All right. This is my, uh, since we got, Pat had to do a little, had to fix a little problem with the installation. So since I came back, so go ahead, enter your name and product number, click continue and ver we're going to verify everything's correct and we'll see you on the next, sorry for that abrupt part right there. So we, now we're on the next part. So we're going to untick set up printers. We're going to set up only windows components and applications ready on hard disk, click continue. Everything's all fully selected like it should, so there's no worries. So we're going to go ahead and click continue. We're going to just point to our to the proper directory since we're using the CD version of Windows Forward Group 3.11. So this is basically a reinstall. You shouldn't have these error messages popping up. Let's go ahead and click continue. Skip the tutorial if you like. You can look at the tutorial at a different time if you want. Restart computer. Then we're going to type win and we're successfully booted into Windows. All right, since we're in the windows, we're going to go ahead and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to open up our file manager because we're going to install the, the video drivers first. We're going to select our A drive where, for me, since where I got my, what you want to do is you want to, Before we copy them, we want to make we're going to create. You want to be able to create a directory and name it SVGA. Already created one. Then we'll go back over to our our, our drivers directory in the floppy on the virtual on the on the floppy drive. So what we're going to do is you want to. Select, go to select files, go select all of them, and you want to go ahead and, and click on copy down from the file menu, and you want to put it in this directory. Once everything's copied, I already got them copied, so there's no reason to copy them over again. We're going to go into MS DOS so we can install the, vi the uh, video drivers. We're going to do vgapatch.com P Since it, since I'm gonna, since I'm 
是不是啊？呃，我们至少呃 ，did a reinstall. We might have to copy all the、um, everything over to the to the to the to the virtual machine again. So we're gonna go ahead and do VGA dot VG, a patch dot com p. Everything's patched. So we're gonna go ahead, go back into Windows. So what we're gonna do is go into Windows Setup. We're going to change our display driver. We're gonna select one of the color modes since it's now installed. We're going to select Super VGA 1024768256 colors, small font. I'm just going to go hit New because this because it's a vert because I had did a reinstallation. Go ahead, hit Restart Windows. So be sure to expect this error. Press any key to continue. So what I'm going to be doing is we're going to change over to the Windows directory. We're going to do CD Windows, CD System. We're going to do Dell SVGA 256.drv. It's going to delete the The unpatched driver, so we can replace it with the patch one. We're going to do change back over to the CSVGA. Copy SVGA two fifty six dot DRV to C colon Windows slash System. We change back over to. The system directory. And we're going to make sure that it's. We're going to do a DIR. So everything's looking good. So we got full resolution. So let me go ahead and work on getting the sound drivers installed. We're going to do it from MS DOS. So, all right. We're going to go ahead and press Enter to continue. We're going to do a full installation. Press Enter. We'll press Y. Press Enter. Go ahead and hit proceed. Proceed. We're going to hit F10 to reboot. So we got the sound drivers fully successfully installed. We should expect to hear a startup sound. So you heard chimes dot wave, and let's do a MIDI test. Let's look for Canyon dot MIDI. So far, everything's working perfect on the MIDI side of things. The next thing we're going to install is the the DOS idle.
All right, so we're going to go ahead now and install the DOS idle. Since we're going to go in our file manager, we're going to select our location of our DOS idle. So everything's installed successfully. So don't panic. But this part is optional, which there are a couple of videos on how to install the network driver if you want to get networking installed. So that's enough for now. Hope this video helps some of you guys out and thanks for watching.